Hey guys and gals, welcome to a new series in Anno 1800 here. We're going to actually be doing a Let's Play. So let's get started. We're going to do new game. We're going to do Sandbox. Less guidance. I don't need somebody telling me what to do. And let's find somebody random here. I wish there was like a randomized button. You know what? I like this guy. Logo. What looks good for our Let's Play? Wait, what is this? I like this already. Let's go. Alright, let's find a good name, though. Alright, Naki Teriyaki. That's who we're, who we're playing as. We have all the DLC selected. And let's do a custom. Alright, so... Difficulty presets, normal... Uh, world size is large, mainly large, we want it on normal, plenty, plenty, let's do an archipelago, uh, let's choose something different, I don't think I've ever fought against this guy, so let's, uh, let's choose him. I feel like we don't need another two of these. But this should be fine. We'll go with this. Everybody's on. They're all average. Income high. Inactive upkeeps off. Full construction. Building relocations on. Common. Uh, easy. Quest frequencies common. High and low. Uh, let's do a trade fleet. Let's, let's, let's try a trade fleet. A uh, starting harbor, we don't want that. We want to be able to choose our own. Starting capital's large. Revealed map. We're actually going to turn that on. You know, the AI cheat, so uh, I'm going to cheat too. Uh, win conditions? We're going to say none. It's going to be world domination. Let's get going. All right, let's slow down here and let's see what the islands look like. So this one, we have five. That's kind of crap. That one's kind of bad. This one doesn't look too bad. Rain. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's head over here first. Because it has iron and coal, which is nice in the beginning. It has copper. This one actually has a decent amount of good stuff, too. This one's, of course, right next to the pirates. I don't like the big river. Yeah, so I think this one's going to be it. This is going to be our island to start with here. It has everything kind of that we need in the beginning. So that's what we'll do. So yeah, we'll let the AI kind of go and do their thing. I'm not sure why they didn't start with a, uh, a better trading fleet like I did. But the sandbox is the way to go. We're going to build it here for now. Just to pull one up. And what we're going to do is we're going to immediately send my fleet down here to see if we can start getting some wood. Now, we just have to kind of move a little bit faster. Than what our AI counterparts are doing. Let's give that a shot here. Kind of set our woodcutters way down here somewhere. Kind of out of the way for now. And let's put in a marketplace. And really what I'd like to do is kind of stretch it out here. There we go. All right, so for those of you that don't like grid-like cities, I'm sorry, but this is going to be a grid city. A competitor raised a settlement.
Okay, so we're missing some worker workforce right now. So let's knock that out. All right, so really what we should do is build even more woodcutters than what we already have. I guess we'll do eight. It's fine. Probably put a pub in over here on this side. Put a pub and fire station over here. Yeah, so uh, so one thing that I want to do is I want to control and right click, so that way when they get there, they will alert me. And I use that a lot. I use that a ton. All right, new buildings have been unlocked, so that means we got some fisheries. So that's wonderful. Hopefully we have... Yes, we do. Although it might behoove us to put it over here instead. Just for now. We can always move these things. I like being able to move all my items, because, as you guys are well aware, there is a lot of moving that has to be done in this game. Oops, forgot a warehouse over here. Luckily, we are trading for some wood here. Uh, the other thing we're going to do as well is we're going to actually buy... Let's buy some wood. But like, I don't know. Like 46. Now, I am kind of moving a little quickly right now. Mostly because the AI cheats. And this guy, being level 2, having a nice island here. Uh, he is definitely going to cheat. He is right across the, the water from me. And he's going to cheat. He's going to keep pushing. Eventually, uh, he will be beating me. So we want to make sure that we don't let that happen. The next thing we want to do, let's go ahead and let's buy some steel beams. Nobody's going to sell me any steel beams, but I'm going to buy as many as I can afford. Uh, also, what we can do is we can trade. Ah, oh, they're going to charge me 6000 Well, I think for one it should be fine. So we can trade with somebody, and hopefully she actually has a lot of wood that she can sell me. He doesn't. Let's also put in some woodcutters here. So we want a decent amount of woodcutters. Alright. So now we should be making plenty of wood. And now we can kind of relax here. So right now it looks like we're... Creating 12. We need 16 lumber, though. So hopefully as soon as this one's done planting, we'll actually get the lumber that we need. I think this guy might actually be selling me some wood here, too. Hell yeah, look at that. 30 wood. That is wonderful. So now we can go ahead and we can toss these up. So I know we have a balance that is certainly pretty low. So there's three, and then let's go ahead and start upgrading some of these people. We'll kind of figure out how we want to lay the city out as we go along. We want to have it easy for us to, uh, to move things. Normally I have square blocks of six, or rectangular blocks of six, should I say. So this one, maybe we'll do just a little bit differently. We'll kind of figure out how we can fit things in. One thing that we need to be thinking about, too, is the trains. So, you know, having something like in here where we can maybe make, like, two of these. So that way you can replace one with a train track. 
might actually be better in the long run. Can I have everything centralized here? We can keep moving these things down the line. Okay, so all these people, they are getting their fish. We'll upgrade a few more. And we're still making plenty of fish. We also need schnapps now. So let's kind of branch off here. Move you up here. And then this is where we're going to put some of our schnapps at, I think. All right. Not a fan with all the guidance the game gives me when I tell it not to give me the guidance. But it still wants to give it to me anyway. All right. So what we really need is some steel because we need to make a second island. Remember, we got to start selling some soap to this guy eventually here. I guess you could also sell potatoes to him too, but it seems a little... uh. Doesn't seem as lucrative. Put a fire station somewhere. Maybe what we'll do is we'll actually remove a couple of these guys. And we'll move these guys over. And then we will put in one of those. There we go. So now we have fire station. Just because it's making that noise, it makes me think that we're going to have a fire somewhere. Okay. So let's grab our potato farms. Let's put one in. Beautiful. See how much potatoes we are making, or how many? We're making two. Perfect. And then let's put in... Put in one of these guys, like, right down here. A little bit further away, but maybe keep all the industrial stuff down here to start with. Okay, so that is two schnapps using two potatoes for only one thing. And then let's also put in one of our sheep farms. So the sheep farms are nice because they actually fit really, really well. They play well with others. So let's add in our... Let's actually add in another one of these right here there we go and let's get ourselves a framework knitter the next thing we want to do is put in a pub so we know we want to put in a power plant can't remember i think a power plant is that big it's actually probably a little bit bigger than this to be honest I might have to shift some things. Let's do that real quick. But I do remember the power plant being decently large. There we go. Cool. So, and it'll look prettier as time goes on too. So happiness-wise, they have that. They're getting their schnapps now. And then let's make sure that we have enough sheep. The sheep are making two. We're making two of those. Very good. So everybody should be happy here. In, for the moment then we'll slowly build into it I could probably move these guys up a hair and I could probably move these guys up a hair as well and then what we can do is we can just add in that and there we go now everything kind of looks a little better we'll move these guys up just a bit too just to give us enough space here to do everything that we want to do that's the name of the game here Making space. Beautiful. And we can always move these guys down even more too, but I think this should be this should be fine. Okay, so let's see what we got here now. So two, two, so yeah, so we're actually starting to use some of these things. And we can see that our balance is actually turning around now because our people are actually getting their needs fulfilled. I think what I'm gonna do is actually move some of these guys and then put this here instead. Just like that. Then maybe move these guys over one. Delete that, and then we'll put in two more. Much better. Now, is this the best way to do this? Probably not. But you know what? We are doing it to have fun. Here we go. See, it's coming together. It's definitely coming together. All right, so let's check on our citizens here. 
So everybody looks okay. We're not producing enough schnapps, so let's actually produce some more then. So what we'll need is another potato plantation. For the second one here. Now I like to kind of fill in these further to reach areas, so that way I can put in more buildings up here. It's definitely not the prettiest thing. But once all these are filled in with fields, it actually does look kind of cool. I don't think we'll be on this far anyway, so we're probably good right about there. And then let's put in one more schnapps. Okay. And then let's see what we got here. So we have work clothes. We're going to need more work clothes. And look at that. We're making a profit right now. So that's not too bad. Let's grab another one of these guys. Perfect. And then what we'll do over here is I think we will move some things. So let's remove this just for a second. Nobody's going to be happy about that. Grab another one of these warehouses. There we go. So now we're making enough sheep. We can put in one more. We're close. All right. We can almost upgrade these people. So pretty soon, we'll upgrade them. We're not going to allow any of these things yet. We don't need them. Pop in some of those. And then we could also do one more. So we could do something that looks like this. Except we're going we will actually have to expand this out down here. Okay. Now it should all be copyable. I should be able to continue this the whole way down. So if I want to put another one right here, it should all fit. Look at that. So that's not bad at all. That's what I like to do, right? I like to be able to copy it because I know what's coming down the line. We could always move this stuff up just a little bit. Dang, we have 75 wood. Let's uh, let's upgrade some people. Look at that. New milestone. Like to hear. Okay, industrialization. So that should unlock... Yeah, he still doesn't have any steel yet. Let's double check and make sure that everything else is good here. So we are making plenty of schnapps. We're using plenty of potatoes. We're still good with everything else. Let's go ahead and let's upgrade some more of our people. Good. And then we need some sausages. And some grain, which luckily we can actually make grain here too. All right. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to grab some pig farms here. There we go. Okay. So you can make it into a square as well. So we'll put one there. And then we'll kind of copy it over here and do the same thing this way. Why don't we squeeze this down a little bit further that way? Good. Okay. Let's grab ourselves a warehouse here. And then we know that we're going to need some... Sausages being produced here. So let's take a look. So pigs were producing sausages. Apparently they don't need any. It's our human rights. <laughs> they do though. But it says zero right now. Not sure what that's about. But we can easily put in a slaughterhouse here. Actually, we probably put it right up here. Because we're going to get rid of all these anyways. So let's put in a slaughterhouse. We're going to need some brick. All right, then. Luckily, this island that we chose actually has some brick deposits. We want to use both of them. I know it's expensive, but we want to be able to use as many bricks as possible, or produce as many bricks as possible, should I say. There we go. And let's grab ourselves a small warehouse. And same thing with this. Let's put in a road to it. Let's put in a warehouse. All right. We see a little bit more wood, and then we should be good to go here. Ah, we can finally start buying some steel beams. Let's go. So we need all of our ships to be ready with the steel beams because we need to take over another island here. 
I'm thinking this island. It's perfect. This island is literally perfect in every way. So that is going to be our next island. We have to get some more steel beams. So yeah, let's take a look at our island. See how uh, see how things are doing down here. Yeah, we'll have to squish it in a little bit. It looks like I've given us a little bit too much space here. But yeah, it's kind of open. And that's how I like it. You know, you I want to be able to add things in as we go along. Especially because I know that I have to move so many things constantly. So it would be very nice to be able to add everything in. Uh, and then this guy. So for the newspaper, we are literally going to auto-publish everything and just publish it. That's all. We're not... I don't, I don't really care. About the newspaper. So I want to use my influence for other things that are much better. Yeah, we uh we went a little too far with this. So let's push it in just one here. There we go. Then we'll grab these guys. We'll push you guys in just one as well. Oops. Dang it. Not what I meant to do. Move you guys up one. There we go. That's better. Now, we can get rid of this. That looks better. Looks a lot better. Let's go ahead and let's grab some of this. So yeah, so now we finally are getting in some brick. And pretty soon we'll be able to build our slaughterhouse. Our flagship just got here. Let's buy all of this. We need one more steel. And then once we get our steel here, we can... Combine it with this steel, because I think we need 10. And then we can build an island right up here. And this is going to be our industrial island. And we're going to start selling soap. And we're going to start making a lot of money. But yeah, guys, I think that uh, I think that's going to be it for uh, for this episode. You know, we've already got some workers going. We have, uh, we have a surplus of money right now. So, so far, not looking too bad. And uh, I haven't really even started with the diplomacy yet. But I don't think everybody hates me, except for... Uh, pirates so i think on the next one here we will fix some of our issues here with the transports uh and we will also develop this island as long as the ai doesn't beat me to it